Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Brock Purdy. Is Brock Purdy elite? Brock Purdy is a good quarterback. That ain't what I asked you. Brock Purdy is a good quarterback surrounded by immense talent across the board. Elite? No. Patrick but Mahomes see, when I, when Patrick, I, say, Patrick, that, they, when listen, I say that, Pat, they get mad Pat, at me. Pat, why, why would they get mad? They, they should because. get mad. Maybe it's the delivery in which you say it. Maybe it's the delivery in which you say it. Patrick Mahomes, I mean, <laughs> Brock Purdy is an elite. Stop it. Brock Purdy is a good quarterback who is surrounded by immense talent. I love Brock. And, and what we saw from Brock the other night, which we haven't seen, is Brock play against adversity in the biggest moments. Yes. You don't fold. You don't throw interceptions. You don't turn the ball over. You make all the throws. Not only that, I saw Brock take off with the ball and run. I ain't seen him do that all year. Right. I ain't seen it all, do all year. But I saw when they played the Ravens, and you had to right. play from behind. I saw interceptions, <laughs> even though they're unfortunate tip balls. I saw interceptions. And there was just no way in hell you were going to come back in that game. But to come back against the Lions and do it, down 17? And the onus is on Brock Purdy. Is on the onus is on 13. We got to put the we got to put the game in your hands. I haven't seen him do what we saw him do the other night enough for him to be in the elite conversation. He did it in that moment. My and he thing is exceptionally well. Okay. But not elite. Not because elite. Because people are gonna say, well, he wouldn't very good, very elite. good quarterback, though. Very good quarterback, based on the situation and what they ask him to do. So let me ask you a question. By the by their circle, if 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 Brock Purdy wins the Super Bowl makes him elite, Trent Dilfer was elite. Joe Flacco, he won, he won the, the Super Bowl with us. Oh, yeah, that's, I'm talking about the Bucks. I'm talking about with, with y'all. With us. Joe yeah. Flacco was elite. I mean, if that's if that if that's your argument, mm -hmm. elite. Elite is a elite is a different category, man. We talk about currently playing today. What is it? Maybe two quarterbacks? We talk about elite? Yes. Do people understand what elite is? No. They think if you have a couple of good games, you're no. elite. Elite consistency. Over a extended period of period time. Period of time. Re oh, re receivers. Oh, Joe, Receive people in the chat saying if if Mahomes lose the Super Bowl, he's not elite. You see, on, that's now. why I don't that's why I really about... don't like talking football on, with fans. Come on. Because now. they say anything. They will prefer to say anything. So now if Mahomes lose the Super Bowl, he's not elite. So we're gonna take a guy that's won two league MVPs, two Super Bowl MVPs, two five thousand yard passing seasons. Two-time first-team All-Pro. He loses the Super Bowl. Now he's not elite. See, y'all, what y'all do? And, and we, we, I try to have a conversation, and I like having conversation with the fans yeah. because I try to offer insight into mm -hmm. the mind of a professional athlete. Mm -hmm. And I like to think I was pretty good at what I did. I yeah. try to take you inside the huddle. I try mm -hmm. to take you inside the locker room. Mm -hmm. But when y'all say stuff like this, how yeah. do you expect me to take you serious I think, and maybe, say you maybe, really want to talk serious football? Maybe they arguing just to argue. Maybe they are just argue just to engage and just create a topic and just just I, just, just create dialogue. Dialogue Ocho. that makes no sense. Oh, how about, about this here? Let's talk about elite receivers. What makes an elite receiver? You got to do it one, over a period of time. Listen, one, you come in year one, oh, you surprise everybody. They don't respect you. They yeah, they're gonna they're they gonna play you one on one. They gonna let's see what you got. Year two, you come back, okay, your body at work is on camera. Now we know what's coming. Let's see if you can do it again. Year three, the defensive play calls when you break the huddle as a receiver is lined up based on where you are. Now we know what's coming, and you still getting off. Yeah. The body of work, even in year three, when most receivers arrive into their own, you're still doing it. Right. The consistency in doing it year in and year out, even when they know it's coming, puts you in the elite conversation as yeah. a receiver. Same thing with a quarterback. Yeah, but heard the thing, Ocho. Eli won two Super Bowls, and nobody ever considered him elite. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just speaking. I'm just speaking honestly. He right. won two Super Bowls. He mm -hmm. beat Tom Brady, mm -hmm. the GOAT quarterback, in the biggest game, mm -hmm. and nobody ever considered him elite. Right. Is is Eli Manning a game manager? 
No, hell no. He, okay, okay. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, he had he had Tiki Barber. Tiki Barber ran the hell out of the football. Tiki led the league in rushing. I think he had a couple of sixteen hundred yard rush seasons. Tiki was really good. Yeah. I know people might not like Tiki. Yeah, holding because the, damn, of the way he, holding the holding the damn ball way up here when he ran. <laughs> because he had a fumbling problem. The fumble problem, yeah. Yeah. Dang. Uh, I just like I said, I just I think for me, I just have I just have a different standard. And maybe, mm-hmm. maybe my standard in which I judge players are a little harsh. And I think it maybe is because, excuse me, I've been around great players. Mm-hmm. I've been around elite quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. And so what I think elite is mm-hmm. may be too stringent yeah. for what the uh, 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 the fans that watch. Right. And I get it. Your guy, you always want to think, if I'm a 49ers play, fan, hell yeah, I think he's elite. Elite, okay. Because that's my that's my, I, I'm, that's my quarterback. You got to get the fandom out of it, and you got to stop thinking with emotion. Let's think with logic and understanding the game of football and understanding who is elite and who's not. Right. He's in a great situation, and he's a very good quarterback based on what they ask of him to do. Right. Let's say you take Brock Purdy out of there and you take and you put Brock on another team. Right. What does it look like? Right. See, I think Mahomes could go to any of the other thirty-one team, other thirty. Oh, man, so, they will. Hold on. If Kansas City had Patrick Mahomes, they might not lose a game. Who? With, oh, the 49ers? The Forty Nine. If they had Patrick Mahomes as their That's quarterback, man. that ain't fucking fair. <laughs> that ain't fair because that that ain't no that ain't no different than the 70, 73 and nine Warriors. <laughs> that, that 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 ain't fair. I, I that, listen. I'm not a basketball fan. I'm just using that analogy because the team was very good. Because listen, there, there are certain quarterbacks you put that can overcome right. not having great talent around them. I think Patrick Mahomes could go on any other team and make them great. I think Joe Burrow is also one of those players right. that can do the same. I think <laughs> Lamar Jackson can also do that and go on other teams and make the and overcome the lack of talent around him. Some I agree. can, some can't. 